All right, I'm gonna do a little demo to show how to make one of these little recessed latex inflation valves. They basically look a bit like the ones that were used um, by latex catfish. And I was able to get uh, some of these from them uh, a while back, but now I can no longer get them. So I decided to try to kind of recreate that. And what I came up with was putting it together similar to how they did it. They, they used three pieces. They used a little stopper. They used a piece of latex tubing, which is this part. And then they used some kind of a little molded rubber piece, which looks kind of like a, um, I suspect this is a um, bottle nipple for feeding calves or goats. Um, although the ones that I can find don't uh, seem to have this flange around the bottom of it. So what I decided to do is just try using a regular baby bottle nipple. Um, this is a natural latex variety. Most of them that are on the market are made out of silicon, but you can, if you specifically look for natural latex or natural rubber, then you can get ones that are actually indeed rubber. So to make one of these things, um, there is a hole at the very tip, but we're gonna cut the tip off. There is another hole right here, and it's kind of for um, air to get back out. So we need to plug this one. And the way that this thing is actually going to mount, it's going to mount to the latex kind of like this. And then when you wanna pop it out, it'll actually kind of pop that way. So we wanna go ahead and put a little piece of latex right here. So I'm gonna just cut out a little piece, kind of glue it on the back side. Just to cover that hole. Glue glue by itself might be enough, but I, I like to have something of substance to kind of stick to it. So what I'm going to do get just a little bit of glue on here as well as on my little piece which there it is I seem to have dropped it and like with with latex uh, glue you want to kind of let it set up for just a, a second so while that's going on, I will go ahead and put this, if I can keep this guy from curling, I probably could have put some tape on the back of it, but that's okay. We'll come back to that here in just a second. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and cut off the tip of this. Then I want a piece of tubing that is going to be long enough so that I basically can kind of stick it through here. And I want it to come to, at least to that point. And then when it when we pop it this, this direction, we want it to kind of stick up a good, good uh, half inch or so, so you can get to it. So I'm gonna use that as a gauge. So it looks like, well, it looks like we're probably about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And at this point, if you want to, you can kinda, kinda cut this a little bit more straight. So then the next step is we want to go ahead and mount this in here and kind of look at this again the way we want this to work is it's going to mount like this and it's going to pop this direction like this so what i might go ahead and do so i want to turn that actually kind of inside out so that's actually kind of how it's going to mount and i can kind of look at this one to kind of kind of see that so what I want to do is I want to take some of this, put it inside here. And 
then I'm gonna also put some around here. And then I'm going to put that in there and let it dry. All right, now, while that's drying, I could come back and go ahead and put this little piece on here. We wanna put some pressure on that to make sure it seals. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna outline. Well, all right, I'll tell you what. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mount this guy onto our latex piece. So I'm gonna put some glue. And actually what I can do is I can kind of stick it down real quick and make an imprint. And then I'm gonna kind of add some glue down here. We can always clean up the excess with some N-heptine. I'm just kind of doing this quick and quick and dirty just for demonstration purposes. I'd probably be taking a lot more care if this was actually going to be used on something. So I'll let that set up for just a second and then we'll go ahead and mount that. Go ahead and press this down. Try to work out all the air bubbles and wrinkles. And when we flip it over, we can take and cut this part out. Because you can kind of see the, the little donut hole in the middle. So you can just kind of use that as a guide uh, for cutting this out. Of course, you could you could do this ahead of time. If you measure both these circles, you could probably go ahead and mark them and cut the circle ahead of time. You just have to uh, uh, carefully align the valve with the hole. Um, but that might be faster than having to cut this out by hand. And there's your, your valve. And then you can put your your plug in it like that. When you finish inflating, all you have to do is just pinch that until you can grab this and then you can basically slowly kind of open it up enough to 
get that in. And then that's really all you got to do. So you don't really need to worry so much about having the one-way valve since this is such flexible material that you can just kind of pinch it shut. That way you don't lose air. And then you can put this little stopper in. And that's pretty much it.